four, five red lights. Lights out, and away we go. And let's see who's got a good start, who's got a bad start. And it seems Mateo's got a good jump on Jesper on those soft tires. He's up into second. Jesper, there's been a big incident at the back. What after from that? It seems there was just a slight collision between Jesper and Mateo, which caused a little bit of a domino effect. This looks like he's trying to go around the outside of Morgan. Oh, yeah, can just about get it done with a better traction again on those make soft sure Mateo can't pull over one second gap. Uh, as Morgan has lost another position now to us, Percy. Uh, they're on equal tyres, though, so nothing affecting that. And uh, it's actually Lucas right on the back Go. of Yes, around the outside. Wants to get past as soon as possible on those softs. Ideally, I think you want to get to the back of Mateo, seeing as he is the nearest driver. He's going to be on that strategy. I think that was a slight Little advantage yes. in the straights. Rich is about to get past Cody. He did. So the Alpine stuck one up on the inside there of, of Cody. We'll both all, all get that DRS train as well as Luke Smith gets an overtake. Lead, because whoever has the lead going into the pit stops may have quite a bit of advantage later on in There's the race. Run now. Thomas is going to have a run up the hill if he doesn't. Look at the, the massive toe that Luke's getting. You don't yeah, want to go through Luke, be... Oh, that was a bit nasty. Everyone was trying to outbreak each other, I think, especially uh, Luke, and, uh, sorry, Luke and Thomas, as they're now both attacking. Oh, there's three wide again. Austria can provide. As Carter Lundy is right there in the action as well. He wants to go at a podium spot. And Luke back down to third. There was very nearly spin there. But thankfully, due to everyone being very... Frenchman. He has to see a live another day. Obviously dropped a couple of places at that. But yeah, that's not too bad. I was going to say the top five drivers are separated by a second. Oh, and look at as Quirty has just gone down the inside. As Jesper was trying to go around the outside. I think with Matteo. Now it's Quirty and the Mercedes will go down. Luke doesn't come in. Interesting. Matteo does. That That's not surprising. He's just got a penalty. He'll obviously want to try and do something to maybe reduce the deficit life from that. And there are some medium people coming in as well. Not as many people coming in as I expected. Uh, leaving it as late as possible to give us Luke as little chance as possible to have a go at him. Is he going to go early though? Looks like he's already gone. He's trying to catch them out. It seems to have called Luke out. He's already half a second back, and this is the chance Thomas needed. Yeah, Saved something's him, happened to him. I oh, know, he just had a spin. No, he's back on track. Yeah, remember. Okay. Yeah, and Luke Nada. Smith down the inside, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Luke Smith going down the inside at turn three on Thomas. Did he keep it? Yes, he kept behind at the detection point, though. I mean, he has DRS for the second. The way through the race. So some of the drivers are nursing one warnings and a couple of them into the second warnings but not as many as what we kind of expect and that looks like an overtake for again so thomas wants his one back from luke yeah but he didn't do what luke did last lap and keep behind for the detection points so now DRS down into turn four we'll go down the inside can thomas uh, cover it off now he gives it through and yeah like i was saying before just making sure they don't lose too much time to the cars behind the day themselves are squabbling so they're costing themselves it's changed so already thank you very much for changing it yep yeah um I've just seen an idea of Luke's tyres currently in the moment. Let's say they're getting around 40%. Yeah, so that's around when they could turn one. That's let Thomas Harvey through. And that might let Ice Quirty through as well. That was a big mistake from Luke. And that's him now down into third place. Obviously, we'll have DRS down into turn four. As he's trying to make that move on Ice Quirty. He's just now, himself. Luke has someone else to fight. Uh, and Ice Quirty can keep him busy. If Thomas now can pull away from Ice Quirty, who isn't on the softs. Oh, big this could tank. really go in his favour, and yeah, yes, we're Morgan fighting. Uh, don't know if that was yes, but is that Luke's tyre yeah. starting to fall off the cliff? Then I, I think it is. I think his tyres are just going to start getting worse. That may have been what caused the incident in turn one. Him right now would be perfect, but keep an eye out for Matteo Drake. They're all tucked up there behind Morgan. Yeah, that was Luke now down into last place and needs to make a front wing uh, replacement pit stop. It's, yeah, it looks like he's got it done for now. As Quirty has got a better exit, though. I think Thomas has gotten to the And that's a spin a from Jesper. Oh, oh, that's Jesper. Yep, Jesper had a massive spin. I was actually on board with him. Carter Lundy just watching the fight between the top two as Morgan's trying to get into those podium places. Uh, as it is, as Quirty has got DRS and Thomas. Doesn't look like they're going to be... Tight here in, well, Matteo, Jonah. They're all going to be making a run here up into turn three. Yeah, sorry, that's turn one. Maybe turn three, I think. Oh, that's Ooh. a little bit of a twitch moment, I think, from Drake. Yeah, it looked like he just had over tight. Still. Luke gets a penalty. That could be very big towards the end. As these two still going side by side. 
and eventually Thomas has to yield the place. But how long until these guys pit in, considering Danny Ferrari Christ driver? You take the inside line there, so you don't allow him to get into the pit lane entrance there. Oh, there is a bit of contact. Yeah. Yeah. And all that's Harlem out, and the exit of turn one will try and get that smartest yeah. thing to do, considering everyone behind him will be on the soft tires. Literally, you can see they're on the timing tower. Everyone is coming in for soft. He was gone, but he has not left Jeffrey behind. Like Luke was left behind by Thomas earlier, and there's going to be a move down to turn one, I think. Jeffrey down the inside. He's outbroken him, but that might give Mateo the better exit. He's right, but Mateo down the inside, coming down into turn three. As Querty looking for a move on Thomas as well, around the outside. And that is as Querty into third. Jeffrey and Mateo still fine for first, but Jeffrey passed for now. Looking to get that move done to get back into the lead. Oh, Ooh. there's contact. Be yeah. very, very careful, Mateo. That was nearly a spin. But yeah, they just about kept in order. Mateo stays in the second. Because the they want to get past Mateo as quickly as possible. They also don't want to murder each other. And here we go. Quaddy's going to send it up the inside. Should be able to just slap the brake pedal and stick. No problems. And there it is, P2. Yeah. And I think this is yeah. position. Try and gain it back. Fail. Loser position. And so on and so forth. We get, especially as the thing goes on. It's, it's Quaddy trying to go for it. Turn four is at the same time. Thomas going down the inside on Mateo. And now the Ferrari and Alpine. Down into the corner, Esquerdi has the inside line. And they we know they have a good exit out of that corner. And Carzalundi has also got past Mateo. Just have more and more an advantage. Uh, and that's also Luke Smith and Danny Co fighting. And oh, someone's round! That's a big, that's a massive crash! And that's more damage for Luke. That is a humongous incident. He's already passed it, so he's going to have to go all the way around again. Yeah, wow. that is... That's pain for Jeffrey and a source of lifeline for Mateo, but down to 13th, and there's what can be back into the in positions, but it's got some work to do if he wants to get that win, although, as Quirti has that penalty that Mateo also had, so as long as Thomas gets past Jeffrey and stays within three seconds after Quirti, this will be a win. Uh, and since all the cards on the smell and bother, he wants to get that second position now. I think Jeffrey may have used a bit of overtake to pull away that. Here we go, it's actually the Alpha Tauri and Aston Martin are fighting. That is, you know, trying to get past Morgan. Here we go, yeah, and of course, you have to remember, Yenab had a quali band. So this is from the back of the grid, Yenab is fighting for a top five place with Drake and the Haas coming down to turn four. And that is, well, don't know quite yet, but that, quite might, yet. But that might be Drake's corner. I think this is on the inside, breaks a bit later. And yeah, that is straight up into seventh place as Jesper has got past Mark Levine. Luke Smith is still down in 15th place. As, oh, and there's another crash! He got tapped from someone and then he just hit the back of uh, Joshua while he was spinning. So that, uh, thankfully, it looks like it didn't actually affect Scars in the other tower. Yeah, let's head down the inside at turn four. And I think should have the place. Yep, that's him into the top ten now behind like Yomti. The, the trunk, so I think that's just going to be a yellow flag for now. As you can see, already a second, over a second, between Esquerdi and Jeffrey, meaning Thomas needs to get the work done now. Uh, Scars is also a tie, that's in the pits though, so maybe you did end up getting defeated. Yeah, was, I think there was a bit of a tap between Carter and Thomas on the run down to turn four. What what everyone here needs to do now is cooperate and get back within that second of Esquerdi, or none of them are going to be able to fight for the wage. Can break later than Jeffrey with those softs, and well, it's not quite done yet. They'll all have DRS. And the cusp part of getting in that top 10, which would be good for him, because he's got the fastest lap, I think. No, it's actually been gone to Mark just no, then. So, uh, yeah. yeah, Mark's got the fastest lap now, a 104.650. Uh, Thomas made use of having that big advantage. And now it is, what, a three and a half lap showdown to see who can win round nine here. Uh, and of course... As uh, as well. It's also very difficult for Thomas. He's on two warnings. He has to be very careful not to get another one, otherwise his chances of winning this race are over, and it looks like Mateo is going to bring it to Richie. Yep. Down the inside, nice easy DRS move. Uh, but again, that's another driver that has a penalty. Thomas has made a move on this Quirty. Who adds the DRS? It's Thomas, so he did time it well this time. They run down to turn four. It's Quirty giving him as little room as possible, while still being legal with it. And Thomas takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Seeing uh, as Thomas has that penalty, as Quirty is smelling blood now because now he can finish in front of McLaren, dives it on the inside of turn three, 
Make sure Thomas can't get that cut back. Go and get those penalties, and you will be rewarded. Uh, as long as it's a victory. Oh, Thomas has gone off. What's happened? Oh, he's he just went. He, oh. he, he just had a lot of understeer into turn six and he's just out. went way off. He's, he he okay. manually. Well, and that's it. crosses the line in first, but Carter Lundy will take the lead. Jeffrey gets second. Yenab's third. Yenab has nabbed third place from a quality ban. So great for you, but that, that is, you have to admit, that is heartbreak for Thomas. Well, can't obviously take it away from this man as well, too. What a fantastic. We can certainly hear you. The crowd can. I lift up that trophy for the Canadian driver. That's a P1 from P4 as well. Congratulations.